Yeah, we're delighted with him. Um, I think he's developed over the winter. He's um, very settled. He's a horse that uh, takes life easy. And I'm very, very pleased the way he's developed. It was a very short season, unfortunately, as he got a stress fracture of his tibia in the early part of the year. And we were fortunate to get him back uh, to win impressively his group race at Leopardstown on Irish Champions Day. And then I thought he put up an excellent performance on Quipco Champions Day at Ascot. Uh, he was a fast finishing third in ground that was very, very testing that day. Well, you know, we'll take it as it comes. Obviously, we'd be looking at uh, Royal Ascot for him and um, play it by ear. It would be definitely the main concern consideration. The Hardwick would also be considered. You know, I think he'll, I'd be very hopeful uh, that he'd get a mile and a half this year. He's wintered very well. Um, the English Champions Day has been very good to me every year. And uh, we've had at least one, if not two winners from our couple of runners every year. But uh, he put up a very good performance and um, he's a horse to really look forward to for the coming year. Yeah, I suppose the only, the only negative with Forgotten Rules is that he'll always appreciate ease in the ground. And uh, that's always the concern with Ascot, Royal Ascot in June. I've been fortunate to win the Gold Cup with Rite of Passage. Um, but uh, this guy, he definitely like an ease in the ground. So we'll uh, play by ear and see.